I'm going to vote for a champion dupe because I'm on a quest to get all the three star five costs that I haven't gotten yet before the end of the set, which right now is literally just Udir and Irelia. I've never seen the animations for both of those two. So I'm playing Pingu Party. I'm trying to get Shimmer Scale. That way I can three star five cost. If I don't get Shimmer Scale, I'll try and do something weird. Well, I can't do anything weird with these. I already did a Jazz game. So I'm just going to go Disco. What are the Exalteds? Rek'Sai, Sivir. I mean, you could play Mythic in a way with this. It's kind of easy to throw away into anything, honestly. Jax 2? I guess I build it. I'm going to hold the Ari. I'm preferring to go either Mythic or Faded when I'm trying to do this. Just because they're the only ones who can use Shimmer Scale very well. It's Rageblade. Not Stationary or Unified. I'll take Latent Forge. Why not? I am going to level. Sell you and you by Lux. Now, what do I slam, though? If I end up playing Lux Reroll, Rageblade is bad. JG is very good, though. I'm going to go JG Static Shiv and then put Armor here. And, of course, I'm going to end up holding this RE pair. The Jax animation takes forever, by the way. Stun got the pop out. Still might not be enough, though. Barely enough. Oh, it's a useless one. I mean, that's an Alawi. Maybe I am just playing a luxury roll game off this. There's also a possibility that I hit Horizon Focus off Leighton Forge. I'm going to hold everything for now. I'm going to hold everything for Arcanist or for Faded. Oh, wait, something hit my back line there. Uh, the rock from Nar murdered my Lux out of nowhere. Old TK Cho. Technically, I have a Mythic opener if I wanted it to. I'm assuming this guy got Nar. I think it's easier for me to hold Faded units than it is for me to hold Mythic units. So I'm going to hold Faded units, not the Mythic units, so I can hit 10 here. And then I'll hold Garen Bear as well. Now the question becomes, do I want a cloak or do I want a tear off of carousel? He's going to go straight to my Lux. That turns it into an L for me. At least it should. It doesn't, though. Both of these are very good. There's a Lux pair. Alawi armor is probably my best possible. Now it's probably Lux Bear. Edge take Lux Bear here. Laser Core, Mech Pilot, Mountain. I'm going to take Laser Core. Okay, so now, since I know I'm not hitting as far as Shimmer Scale goes, I'm going to play an Arcanist game. It's technically like Sage. Not a typical Arcanist game. I guess I should hold Ghostly just because it's a trait to throw in. And I should have leveled there. I'm going to go ahead and level. Okay, so this is the comp. I've seen a lot of people doing cool things with the boss. Like putting a normal or unit that would normally be a backliner like this in the front line just to trigger the boss early. And we're rolling on level six for this for sure. If I hit something like an Arcanist crown, then maybe it moves things. That's an Amumu. Spear of Shojin, Nashers, okay. Ari 2 I'm down to go ahead and level for the Amumu. Spear of Shojin. Shiv can go into Ari. 
I guess technically it's probably just Spear of Shojin here, and then we go JG Nashers on to Ari, because she's two starred. And Slam Bramble. Oh, we had an FF. Not little buddies or threes a crowd or gifts really. I get a Nar and a Mumu out of Spirit Guardians, but I think it's just stationary. Knight's Vow? That's not great. Lux 2 is though. This guy's Bruiser. Faded. Rerolling Kindred, it looks like. Rerolling Kindred is very good news for me. Also, I'm for sure just going double laser core here. Double laser core when I'm already dealing all magic damage and have a shiv built. There's another Lux and an Ari. I think I do reroll. Mumu. Another Ari. Ooh, a Mumu too. Yeah, and this guy's playing Gnar. So that's also very good for me. Even though the rock angle is really bad for me. <laughs> because the rock hits my Lux, man. Okay, we killed it before it killed Lux. The Bramble, I should absolutely move over and also sell this to hit 50. I'd be very happy with Cloak Amumu. Actually, any of these three. Ah, he took it. Armor Zyra, I guess. Laser Core 2. Show me Horizon Focus. Innervating Locket, I think, is just the pick. There's a Lux. I don't need this Caitlyn at all. Extra Amumu. And Amumu, you're getting all the items. Laser Core does seem very, very good in this comp. Rerolls or champions? Two random two cost. I think it's actually better for this scenario. And I hit a Lux. Allow me to. There's Jana. And Diana. Ooh, there's Zyra Diana Fair. We're only three off on our Lux three. Once I have the Lux three, I'm down with just leveling at that point. We level to eight and then we find a Mumu Alawi three. I guess the question now becomes, can we kill this mech that has infinite health that I can't see? 8.7K. I mean, I killed the mech. I'm not gonna kill everything else though. Another Amumu, another Diana, and a Janna. I guess technically Ari can come out now. You can hold the Shiv, Zyra. Ooh, another Janna for free. And an Ashers. Lowy. Lux. Lux and a Lowy. Okay, now we roll. There we go. Lux three. I guess it's second Nashers. It's kind of weird though. I'm supposed to level now. I'm gonna wait a turn. But I'm pretty like certain that I'm just building Nashers. So I guess I should slam it. The new question is, do I slam a crown guard ever? Also the gargantuan shin. Oh, I can throw exalted in really easily here. I need to hold an exalted unit. Porcelain emblem? Is there a porcelain exalted unit? Other than, no, okay. Probably not that then. Never harm assist. I mean, Jewel Lotus 3. Always the pick. I'll go ahead and level Ferrari now. And since Janna is higher level than Zyra, you can have the items. This is a pretty scary board. How did this jump into the middle of everything? It's on top of the disco ball. I 
I need to pay more attention to when I could fight this guy. Because right now, the worst part about it is just positioning. Do I win with a one-star Zyra in the end? All the drones? Eight free rerolls this round. Thank you, Alawi. Well, now we move the items back. I'm definitely just aiming for more of my three ghosts. Diana, Jana, Amumu, Zyra, Annie. Okay, let's get Annie in. So I have six Amumu, six Alawis. I'm going to hold everything. I would like to get like a stone plate and a D claw. And then this could be Rabadon's. The drones are dealing so much damage though. Three K per fight. Way. If I could get that way, it'd be insane. I don't think that's ever happening though. Yeah, it's gone. I'm gonna take an Archangels, because it's on an Annie pair. And I think honestly I'm just gonna go straight to nine. I don't care too much about Diana three. I will go ahead and build this Archangels though. I think I could always move these items to way later. Technically, since I have Jeweled Lotus, I could get rid of this JG. Oh, this is the stupid infinite health mech. 9.7k health mech. I kill the rest of his board always, like, really, really quickly, but the mech takes forever. Oh, I actually got it without Amumu dying. That's surprising. There's Morgana and another Lowie. I don't think Zyra 3 or Janna 3 are going to happen at this point, so I'm down to just selling them. I do, however, think Alawi and Amumu 3 are going to happen this game. Hey, this guy finally hit. He only has five. Is he Yordle? He is. Yeah, that's not good. So I've tried, and I'm going to try again with Yordles, but the nerf was just massive for them. Like that you have to hit six, and then they also nerfed Vagar. Yeah, what I was saying was basically Yordle, you used to have to hit five, and then you'd start getting Vagars, and a one star Vagar would stabilize you. But now you have to hit six, and they nerfed Vagar. So it's just a very big difference. I want a frontline item. Stone plate. Get in there, Morgana. I guess now I could move these forward if I want. Or do like this. I'm holding on to this Diana, but it's like super unlikely to ever happen. Somebody's taking this sword. The issue for this guy when fighting me is that as soon as his Zoe gets up, I'm going to be targeting it with Lux ults. And two Lux ults is enough to kill it, yeah. But it's a very interesting idea. The frontline the boss stuff. I honestly think I'm probably supposed to give up on Diana, but I'm not going to. I just want to level throw in away and be done and reposition. I do need a Morello's effect and then I just need tank items after that. So I guess Sunfire might actually be better and I'm going to fall to this stupid Gnar again. This Gnar is always just the one that beats me. Or the one that I feel like is going to beat me. Just because of how he targets Lux early. Yeah, he's going to beat me this time. Unless... The drones? The drones and the Amumu? He can't get through Amumu. Never mind. Amumu too strong. It also forces him to make a decision now, which is nice. I guess for level 9, I should hold Fall of Air. I'll get rid of the Diana. Uh, he has Talisman of Ascension now. That is really, really scary. Oh, I got the Ghost, but Mech Pilot doesn't work with the Ghost, it looks like.
Yeah, Talisman of Ascension Mech Pilot is very scary. Oh, is the boss Zoe gonna beat him? The boss Zoe. You know, I'd very happily take Quay here again. It's gone immediately. Steadfast Heart, I think, is my next pick. It's gone too. I'm taking Rage Blade. I'm gonna take a Rage Blade for my Janna. And we can move some of these items. Swap the two. I'm kind of down to go ahead and level, but I'd rather wait. Yeah, I want to wait until after the PvE round, because I'm guaranteed to make it that far. If I take a loss in that time, so be it. It'll just give me, like, so much gold to work with once I get there. Uh, is this guy one off of the uh, Kane 3? Geoge? Does he just have Kane 3? Because he has a champion dupe. He might just have Kane 3. He just has Kane 3. And almost Silas. So that makes it to where I have to go for a 3 star of something. Annie, maybe? I have to hit Annie Morgana. I think that's my out, is hitting Annie and Morgana. And of course, now I'm up against the talisman mech pilot guy. He still hasn't used it. Just use your dupe. I guess he's trying to see if he can hit both. And whichever one he hits first, he's going to save the dupe for. Right, now we can start rolling. I mean, I'm definitely not going to 10. Any two. Redemption. Stone plate. Locket. Redemption. Ramble. Morgana 2. I guess I hold Janna's now. Zyra Zyra. All right, he just slammed his cane three. It was about time for that, honestly. All right, and then as soon as the Zoe comes off, now we target it with Lux. I don't know if I'm gonna get to kill it though. Okay, he beat me. That probably means it's time to roll it down. Oh, he's getting ratted on Silas's. And this guy's also ratting by Alawis. Oh, Morgana, Morgana. And an Amumu. Jana. All right, Jana and Zyra, I'd give up on. Morgana? Morgana? I'm one off Morgana 3? I have Morgana 3? Okay. I'll move around the items better next turn. Yeah, do I get to kill this guy before he hits the Silas? Maybe? Who wins between Morgana and Kane? I barely win. He's not dead. All right, I don't care about Janna, Zyra, Lux, Morgana. Just these. Locket. Looks like a locket. Yeah, I'm going to remove her items really quick. Since I have Jewel Lotus, JG actually isn't as good here. And then you can have these three. And we keep rolling. Lowey, Diana, another oh, Sway, and an Annie. I've three starred all the four costs already, so I'm less worried about trying to hit all the other three star four costs. Like, there isn't one that I haven't hit, so that's not as fun to try. I would like to hold this Annie, though. And I think I want another redemption here. Oh, the other three-star four-cost guy's out of the game. Came in fourth, which means this guy beat him? The boss Zoe beat Kane three? All right, you're getting swapped. Hold Annie. There's another Amumu. I guess I'm probably... I need to give up on Diana. That way I don't waste a lock here. Oh, we're going to the back line. If the Zoe comes out and she's in the ult, it would be kind of crazy. All right, looks like the Zoe's not going to be good enough this time. But we keep rolling. There's another Annie. I will lock for an Annie. 
I guess I could position like this to get more locket value. Less Knight's Val value, but I don't think Knight's Val matters as much. I would absolutely take another Spear of Trojan for this and then move Nashers. I guess I should move Nashers to play anyways. Oh, top two. Against the Mech Violet guy. Here you go, Hui. You can have that. What's he going for? He has to go for something. Galio, maybe? He does have 50 gold. What was this called? Chaos. Oh, triple snipers. And he just reforged all of them and got a talisman. Ground guard. Just to get a third item. Extra Hui. Hui 2. I could honestly reforge the Rage Blade and it's probably fine. Is he not rolling? There's no way he's not rolling right now, right? Maybe he's not. How are we not killing this? There we go. Oh no, it ascended. Oh, he actually is going to beat me. Okay. Yeah, he actually beat me there. There's a Moo Moo 3. That should be a pretty big difference. It's just really surprising to me that he's not rolling at all. I guess he has one more life. He's just waiting on that last life. Yeah, he's just waiting on his last life to see. All right, this one looks like it's going to be different. Yeah, because it's not going to be able to ascend. Still one off the Lowy. He went to 10 instead of rolling. That's interesting. I don't know if that's the right decision. I'm going to reforge the Rage Blade. Red buff. That's actually like significantly better. Because I don't have a healing reduction effect and I'm against well-fed bruisers. If I had a healing reduct, it'd be very different. Yeah, now the fight feels way better for me. And GG! Morgana got me there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.